And we've got a game that's sure to be a crowd pleaser, Greg. Two high-octane offenses going head-to-head. -head. And it's not just run and gun. Each team has a very well-refined attack. And this kind of matchup comes down to which side can maintain their energy through all four quarters. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's Brogdon in at the one. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Three-pointer. And the three ball is good. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Offensive rebound. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Charlotte. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And I credit the shot selection in that one. It's hard to stay patient, but you see the reward. Well, typically, Greg, great decision-making leads to great shooting percentages. I thought that team played a very smart game. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. Now here's Austin coming off a stellar performance against Boston. From the arc, it's hauled in by Brock. Austin is gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be daring to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Outside, Horford takes a three. Here's Williams, and Williams throws it down. They are trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Kicks it out to MP. Shoots the three. Good on the triple. Austin's got a couple of threes now in the first for Charlotte. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And with an update from the sideline. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. He said a key to this game would be to play within themselves on offense. Keep moving the ball like they do when they're playing well. Play unselfishly. And we'll see if that's enough to put them up 2-1 to one in this season series. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Sounds like to execute the plan, Greg, they're going to have to get that good shot selection. No doubt about it, Kevin. If you want to shoot a high percentage in this league, you have to be patient, and you have to understand what quality of shots you get. And that's why you have a designed offense. Create the kind of looks you want so you don't have to play hero ball. Now Brown, after Jason Tatum missed on that last three-pointer, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. When a kick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Austin. Six points for him. And it's the Hornets, another three. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Tatum. And the rejection by MP. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Beat him against MP. And so far, having trouble converting on the inside. Tatum with another miss. The pass to Richards. Two free throws Celtics. coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Robert Williams. Wow, wow, he got First whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. 
15. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. And they've also done a really good job taking advantage of miscues. Their defense has been stifling in this one. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, they battled, but, but at some point, the game got completely away from them, and they just could not get back on track. We know they're capable of a much better game than they played. They know it. We know it. Let's see if it affects their confidence. Now, here's Brogdon. Last game, we saw him score 13. Six on the shot clock. Back to Tatum. Looking to end the run. Tatum with another miss. And another miss. Whew. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. MP from deep three-point land. Charlotte again missing. Celtics trail by 10. And here is Brown. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Hornets in Charlotte. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off him. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. It's Brown on the way. Rozier defending. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. It's his first trip to the line. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. And here is Brown after Terry Rozier hitting the three. Brown right side. Over Rozier. And it's Brown missing. Charlotte leading by 11. MP deciding where to go with it. Pass to Rozier. Shoots. And Boston with the rebound. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. And they'll want to show that they're a much better team than they demonstrated last time out against these guys. At the very least, avoid another blowout. Well, so many of their problems stem from turnovers. They simply could not take care of the ball, and it cost them in that matchup. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Brown outside. Tatum on the wing. Here he goes. Shoots over Austin. And the rejection by MP. Brown the pass to Tatum. Off target from outside. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Pass the ball. Here's Hayward shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Horford. That one on Horford. Bob Weber is Gordon Hayward drawing the defense into him. This guy's put on muscle, and he allows his strength to get him these fouls. Williams, he's checked in for the Hornets. Alinari, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Tatum. Here's Brown. The nine-footers on the mark. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Ball dishes to Austin. Fires the three. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Now here's Brown. He is averaging just around 28 and a half points a game. So many offensive skills in his toolkit. And yes, it's good. Robert Williams, Williams has got six. 
you know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Rozier finds MP. Let's it go with a three. And it's the Hornets, another three. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. The Celtics working the ball around now. Gallinari inside the three-point line. Offensive rebound. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. You know, Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. And you got to appreciate how much Robert Williams just gets after it on defense. You really do because he wants to block every single shot that goes up. He hits the glass now with a level of aggression after being challenged by his coaching staff. And goodness, his teammates love his energy. Here he's the long-range jumper. And that's 21 points for MP. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Count that one. Robert well, they're not Williams. behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Charlotte leading by 15. MP outside. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. 23 points for MP. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Celtics trail by 19. Passes it to going up. Fires the three. Oubre pulls it in. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set to stay complete. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Williams. Austin comes in for Cody Martin. Terry Rozier's checked in for Kelly Oubre. And Ball's up in for Dennis Smith. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Griffin's checked in for Mike Muscala. Horford comes in for Williams. Tatum, he's checked in for Gallinari. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. On the floor for Boston. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Horford is out there with Griffin. And it's right in at the one spot. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Celtics was outstanding. He scored an incredible number of points, but it was his season high in rebounds that really stood out. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Yeah, David and stretches. He was absolutely dominant. Greg, he loved to match that performance tonight. Wow, this team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes many plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. And sometimes in the closing moments, NBA games can slow to a crawl. Of course, you and I know that first game. Intentional foul. Replay review. What should the league revise in terms of that? The most important thing they did is take some of the replay reviews and allow Secaucus to deal with it. That speeds up action. The fact of the matter is fouls and free throws at the end of the game are part of strategy. And yes, we need to be quick with replay reviews, but we have to understand this is strategic and important stuff that happens. MP against Tatum. Here's Hayward. I should think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. The Hornets shoot their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, Gordon Hayward seems to get better and better every year this guy is in the NBA. And the thing maybe that's my favorite about him, he does whatever is requested to put the team in a position to win. Rozier finds MP. 
Puts up a three. Doesn't go for him. Now the Celtics take it the other way. And Doris with Tatum and Brown. If they aren't scoring, they're creating for others. Yeah, both Jason and Jalen took major steps as playmakers, understanding the value of their teammates as release points, as guys who can take some pressure off in terms of the scoring load. And listen, neither guy is finished improving. Ball kicks to Austin. Rozier up top. Tatum against MP. From deep. And there's the foul. It'll go on Nick Richards. That is his first foul of the game. And it's Williams with the ball for the Boston Celtics. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. And they call an illegal screen here. Not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue. That pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. MP against Tatum. Hayward, good, and the assist goes to MP. Austin's got his fourth assist in this one. Celtics trail by 15. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Brown. Off the mark, and the drop continues. Hornets have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. I just love how Gordon Hayward has become so crafty on the interior. He really just keeps the defense off balance. And the Celtics making a change here. Williams has checked in. Good on the second free throw. Austin's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Round against MP. It's stolen by Austin. Hayward kicks to Austin. Let's the three fly. Down and drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is nine for 13 so far. And even after... All those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter. It looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they left him open for another one. Feeds to Williams. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Well, he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, you almost have to foul. And Williams drops them both. Charlotte leading by 17. Hayward passes to Austin. From deep. And another three for Charlotte. And once again, the defense allowing him to get a clean look at that triple. He continues to do some big time damage from downtown. Now a timeout called by Boston. MP really making a difference here. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Right finds Williams. Outside Williams. Got a piece of it. Here's Austin. Oh! Continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Tatum down low. Jason Rogier Tatum. defending. And the basket by Tatum. Okay, Jason Tatum showing a little strength on that play, pushing through the contact, gets to his finish. That is pretty. From 15 feet away, Austin no luck. Celtics trail by 20. They get a hand on it. And they're running. Beyond the arc. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And White kicks to Tatum. The kick out to Williams. Bounce pass from Williams. Oh, 
MP against White. A three from MP. And it's the Hornets, another three. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Outside, Williams. The kick out to Tatum. Fires for three. Second shot opportunity. And Williams with the lead. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Tatum against MP. A three. Good! Another from three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. It's White on the wing. The kick out to Tatum. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Final. GA, think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. Ball surveying the defense. Hayward kicks to Austin. From deep three-point range, they get the rebound. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Tatum against MP. Back to White. Pulls it up. Tatum no good. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Two minutes. Tatum against MP. A three-pointer is right on target. Austin's got 46 points. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Brown finds White. One twenty-nine left to play here in the second quarter. And a fast break now for the Celtics. And slam dunk by Tatum. Well, do Jesus. not let Jason Tatum Taylor get space Brown. in transition. He will make you pay. Well, the Hornets shooting an incredible 64% for the field in this game. MP outside. Here's the three. Here's Richards, and he uses the glass on the lane. Richards got six. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Brown feeling it out a bit. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Austin's got six rebounds now in the game. Thirty-five seconds left now here in the second. From the arc, hands it from downtown. Austin's got forty-nine points in the game. Simply one of the best shooting performances you are ever going to see. A, a three-point barrage. Here's Tatum. Makes it off the glass. Jason Tatum's Tatum. got 20 points. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Here is Hayward. Takes a three. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided of Seventy-seven. The Celtics. Forty-four. Thanks again for joining us, and welcome back to our special Martin Luther King Day presentation of the NBA. You look at MP in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. And we saw just how important he is for this team in the first half. He was getting everyone involved.
His fingerprints were all over this, involving his guys with his passes, finding different ways to take advantage of the defense. The guard pair, Ball and Rogier. They were out there with Austin, and it's Richards in at the five. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black and can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Al Horford's checked in for Gallinari. Well, what we know is LaMelo Ball is so young, but already an all-star. The future bright with a guy who can pass it and shoot it as consistently as he can. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Wasted no time on that one. Rozier's got six. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Tatum from 13 feet. It goes down. Tatum's got 22 points. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You can see the kind of attention that Terry Rozier is going to attract on the defensive end. This guy's scoring capabilities causes the contact. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Boston. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. The kick out to Tatum. The shot's good. Brown Jason making the play. Tatum. He's got 25. Well, the confidence of Jason Tatum is evident always. As soon as the ball touches his hands, he is shot ready and lets it go. Austin, no luck. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. A nice shot by Tatum. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Ball kicks to Rozier. Ball against Brogdon. Count it. Good. He's got 10. But the great length and the great size of the backcourt. LaMelo Ball continues to improve as an interior scorer. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. Great finish at this juncture. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. And it's Rozier missing. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. It's Brogdon on the wing. And he lays it straight in. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. The Hornets have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Here's Ball. They get it again. Here's Hayward. Outside, ball. Six to shoot. And here's MP for th And another one falls! Amazing! And you know what him reaching 50 points means. He's moved up another spot. Yep, the second spot, Greg, is his alone now for most 50-point performances in a year. And with the 31st game of 50 points or more, he is now second on the 50-point list. Wilt had 30 games in the 63 campaign, but it's a long way to go to the top spot of 45. Williams, he's checked in for Charlotte. Book Knight comes in for Ogier. Let's a floater go, and Ball with the lay-in. Ball's got six in the quarter. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Brogdon kicks to Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. The kick out to Tatum. The shot's good. Brown Jason making the play. Tatum. Brown's got six assists now in the game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. 
ball. The pass to Austin. From deep. The rebound by Malcolm Brogdon. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And slammed Jason up by Tatum. Tatum. One of the things you love about Jason Tatum, he's cooking right now. He's putting it to the defense, but by his emotions, it would never be betrayed. Ball no good. Celtics have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. The second effort. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. What's up? Boy, as we first, reach the latter stages, foul. he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. And breaking down Jason some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Hornets. The uh, they've been one. active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. Another thing I thought they did well was pressure. They forced a ton of turnovers, turned those opportunities into points. Charlotte's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Williams kicks to Austin. From past the arc, rebound Boston. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire Jason away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team, productive and efficient. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Can't hit that one. Good defense by MP. To the middle. Here's Mikhailu. And the layup's good off the glass. And you're not going to pass up that kind of And Brogdon has got the ball here for Boston. To the wing right side. The Celtics working the ball around now. Tatum on the wing. And the dunk by Tatum. Well, you see Jason Tatum rise Jaylen above the Brown. defense and leave, no doubt. And uh, the Hornets shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. A three from MP. And Boston with the rebound. Muscala's got his fifth rebound in this one. Ogden left side. Over Austin. That one wide left. Here's Charlotte now. the pass to Smith. Just five to shoot. A three from MP. Gets the three-point of the fall. Austin's got 55. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Brown, good. Brown. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Smith, the pass to Austin. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got rebound number five here tonight. Tatum. The kick out to Brown. Second chance shot. It's rebounded by Austin. Austin's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Down low. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by MP. Big miscommunication on defense. He Boston recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. MP's really making a difference here. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Substitution on the court. Here's Austin. Left side, ball. For three. And Boston with the rebound. 
On the court for the Celtics. Up at the forward spot, it's Tatum and Horford. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Williams at the five down low. Ball kicks to Rozier. Pass to Austin. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kick gloves, you're really not doing your job. The audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, players don't mind you criticizing their games when those critiques become personal. Pass the ball. Rozier with the ball. Austin with it. Guarded by Tatum. The tray. Rebounded by the Celtics. Horford's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. No good on the three. Well, another 10 cut moment here because he continues to miss shot after shot from three point range. This is not a fourth quarter he's going to want to remember. Hayward finds MP. A three ball. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Rodgen the pass to Horford. At three off the mark. Boy, they can't cut into this lead with him going stone cold and only so much time to turn it around. The three from MP. Rebound Boston. Tatum wide open. He fires one. A three-pointer no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Rozier kicks to Austin. The three. A shot off that time. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've Jason gone a long time Tatum. without a bucket. Well, you can see the level of aggression. If Jason Tatum sees a window of opportunity to drive it, he will expose it. And another great look at the 2K drop. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Tatum against MP. Just four to shoot. Can they get it? Jalen Brown with the rebound. Celtics trail by 18. Passes to Tatum. Left side, Williams. Goes back up. The rebound by Richard. Richard's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them margin of victory for Charlotte. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And this will make it one victories for them on the year. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for MP. No doubt he came Jason to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Ball, the pass to Austin, or the three. Another one goes, incredible. 60 points, this guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Tatum kicks to Horford. Back to Tatum. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And here's MP Connects again from distance. And, and all game long, the threes have been pouring in for him. There is no stopping his shot. And this is already a game he'll never forget. He's trying to make it a game that the world never forgets. Horford kicks to Brown. The pass to Tatum. And again with the rebound. This kind of effort is amazing. And he will not be denied. 
And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this.